ocean fish, an entire set of 15 to 17 mobs that we have somehow yet to cover after all this time. Why you ask? Well, to be quite frank, it's because they're all incredibly similar to one another, on top of being outclassed by freshwater fish and even eel. But while I will always stand by that until something makes them viable, I also believe that they do deserve some spotlight for a select few of their drops and behaviors. So, here we begin folks, a guide on ocean fish. Now, let's get a couple things out of the way before we head out to sea though. Of course, no one is catching anything without a sea fishing rod, so do not leave shore without one. That said, will we need lures and floats, and will I actually be discussing them today? Well, yes, but actually, no, cause here's the thing. Lures and floats will help increase our chances of a catch in certain cases, yes. However, I can guarantee you that one can catch every single ocean fish in this game without them. Heck, you can even confirm that for yourself with the lure table here. Lures and floats deserve their own video, and we'll get one coming soon. Today is just more focused on the fish themselves and where to find them. Thus, our journey begins on the shores of the coastal ocean, everyone. Not just for the fact that a healthy amount of ocean fishing can actually be done without ever being on the dang ocean, I also wish to mention how ocean fish even spawn. While the type of fish will vary, of course, a new school of fish will spawn near the player every 15 seconds to a full minute. It. Be you on the water or not, ocean fish are incredibly abundant and highly renewable, but are they worth it? We'll debate that later, as we've got some guppies to catch. Runty guppies are a small ocean fish that can be found in both the coastal and swell waters, but are considered pretty uncommon regardless of that. All in all though, they're an easy snag, really only giving trouble after the initial bite. So. Remember to hold the reeling button when fish are swimming away from you and fighting, and click to pull them in when they tire out. Another coastal fish is the smolt fry, a much more common fish that are super easy to reel in, even with but a berry as bait. But another quick general note about ocean fish is that many are actually attracted to certain food to float on the water, and occasionally you're going to see them leap out of the water to munch on them. There's no real value in that for us per se, it's just a nice touch sort of deal. But there are in fact a lot of little things that go along with ocean fish that do lend them being some pretty fun additions, like the popper fish here. They are found only in coastal waters and are quite common at that. They enjoy leaping up for floating veggies and are easy to catch themselves. But the fun bit is this, popper fish don't drop fish morsels like their other small fish friends. They drop Popcorn instead. Neat stuff. What are even neater though are seasonal fish, like the bloomfin tuna here. A coastal ocean fish that will only spawn in spring, mind you. The bloomfin tuna can not only be directly traded to pearl for a special lure, it drops leafy meat as a reward for murdering it. The lure thing ain't really that great, as there are plenty of other means of getting this specific one. But do take advantage of some more leafy meat sources for sure. You should know how good that is. And the last coastal fish that can actually still be found in the swell and rough oceans is the bitty bait fish. It is by far the rarest ocean fish in the game. They eat meat floating on the water and give quite a fight when reeling them in. But I ask what for? They don't actually give anything else special. It's odd, but again, we'll be talking about all this later on. For we have a swell ocean to visit and fish in for, by far, the most fish on our list today. Starting with the mudfish. This medium ocean fish can very well be found on the borders of the coastal waters. However, they are much more common in the swells oceans. Medium fish will put up much more of a fight now, so be prepared for that. Hold when they are swimming away, click when they give up, 
and repeat until caught. But next up is the corn cod. Very common in the swell ocean, but can also be found in the rough waters, mind you. While they are a medium fish, yes, I find them one of the easier to catch myself. And once you do reel one in, prepare for yet another fun drop, folks. Corn, very nice. And corn cod themselves are attracted to other veggies on the water. So, they are what they eat, I guess. But now comes several more seasonal ocean fish, all of which call the swell ocean home. First up is the scorching sunfish that is only found come summertime. Like the bloom fin, a sunfish can be traded for a lure. However, the more worthy notes are that it emits light if left on the ground, emits heat as well, and will even raise your temperature when it's in your inventory, which I think is pretty cool. Plus, murdering one provides an already cooked fish morsel, which is just a nice touch. Next is the fall lounder, a goofy looking ocean fish that will only spawn in the swell oceans during autumn. Once more, a lure is yours if you directly trade a flounder to pearl. However, I would rather just murder them to obtain yet another chunk of leafy meat instead. They are very common too, and very easy to catch, so take advantage. But finally, the ice bream. Not only is it uncommon in general, they will only spawn come winter itself. Plus, I actually find them to be one of the most difficult fishes to reel in, not only out of the seasonal fish, but overall. That said, snag one for some big fish meat, ice chunks, another lure, and even a cooling effect when they're left in your inventory. So, so cool. But with that, we sail on towards the rough ocean already, everyone. More specifically, to some locations within these rougher waters that hold more ocean fish. These shoals you see here are home to not only our next catch in deep bass, but also have a random chance to spawn the Melbadross to boot. Now, while deep bass can just spawn anywhere in the rough ocean, they are pretty much guaranteed in these shoals. So, Make notes. But deep bass can be difficult to reel in, mostly due to how quickly they bloody swim around you. Once they are hooked, the battle goes down all the same as the others, but as I said, it's kind of getting them hooked that will present some issues for some out there. Other than that though, deep bass really don't do anything special for us. So. Moving on to that of the black catfish. These guys put up one heck of a fight while they're on the line, and that's because they are the second heaviest fish in the entire game. That said, you still kind of catch them all the same as the others with the hold slash click method, so don't really expect much from them following this epic reel-in battle. And already the last rough ocean fish is the spittlefish, everyone. One of the newer additions to the game as a whole, actually, and quite specific in nature. For you see, they only spawn near seaweeds as the green goo that the seaweeds produce on occasion is their food. Spittlefish are classified as small ocean fish, so expect an easy catch. And remember now, you actually need one to craft the fire pump in the seafaring tab, plus they actually spit water to douse any fires around them, which is a pretty nice touch. But the last overall ocean fish of the day is all the way out in the hazardous ocean. A portion of the ocean that is about as elusive as these dandelionfish themselves. Dandelionfish are by far the biggest, heaviest fish in the game and are obviously quite rare if they can only spawn in a select few spots around the entire flipping ocean. But here's where we can actually truly begin to ask the important question, everybody. Just why? Let's just take, for example, all the drops from the fish we caught here today. Every small ocean fish, no matter their weight or rarity, is going to drop a single fish morsel. Okay, fine. I don't really see a real issue at this level. However, we should note that there's not really any difference between a cooked and uncooked morsel on top of freshwater fish drops sharing the exact same, well, everything for much less hassle. Then medium fish come into play, and they drop raw fish meat, which is arguably better, yes. However, its cooked version has been dumbed down from 20 health to but 8. Not only that, why do the heavier fish only drop one fish meat in general? 
There should be incentives to go out and snag these guys. But in reality, they are all just reskinnings of one another. That said, the same cannot be said for the more special ocean fish along with the seasonal fishes, of course. These guys are awesome. But there is still an overarching issue with ocean fishing in general that really needs addressing. And that's the fact that none of it matters. Like, at all. While we can use the fish for any of the incredible fish dishes in this game, why would you? Both freshwater fish and eel can be used too, and are both far more accessible than ocean fish, way easier to catch as it's literally just one click and done, and by far are more efficient overall. With this, on top of the rest of the stuff that we just mentioned, I just truly don't see the point in ocean fishing. Stick to normal fishing and maybe wopsters to still have access to the best recipes in the entire game. But before we wrap up, one last quick mention. The Tin Fishing Bin. This boat specific craft can only store ocean fish, but while it does so, it not only stops their spoilage completely, it refreshes the fish at that. It's an incredible little thing. One of the best preservation storages in the entire game, and that's saying something. But now, if only we had better reasons to actually use it more often. And there you have it, everyone. The ocean fish of Don't Starve Together, at least for now. Listen, I actually like the additions, but until Clay gives us more reasons to spend our time bothering with them, heck, even half of them, I just can't bring myself to justify their existence. Incentives. They need them, and could very easily have them with just a few tweaks, I feel. We shall see. But thanks for watching, folks. Well wishes to all. Get to reeling some in if you wish, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.